I'm just going to talk a little bit about recruitment. Now, for many businesses, we don't recruit very often. In fact, sometimes we're recruiting outsourcing companies. And because of that, we don't necessarily have a very good process for choosing who we're going to work with. Now, I would suggest that before you get anywhere close to talking to people about meeting your needs, you need to really define what it is you're looking for. And there are good reasons for this. If you don't, there's a good chance you're going to make assumptions about what somebody can do. You're not going to be clear about what you're asking of them. And it doesn't take very long for there to be quite a mismatch um, in terms of the expectations and what actually is happening. Now, an example of this in big business is that there will be assessment centres. And actually, my experience of big business is that assessment centres are really quite sophisticated um, events with often a panel of people making choices and a really clear, clear set of criteria that you're working through to make sure that candidates either um, exceed the standard required or show really great potential of developing that standard. There are fewer and fewer people to chase after. There's lots of businesses that are saying they find it really, really difficult to recruit. And having a robust recruitment system is just good management, it's just good efficiency, because you don't want to be doing it again in six months. But more than that, you'll be showing people that you've got a really professional business and that you're worth coming and joining. The big group of people who many of us want and need in our businesses are the millennials. Now, actually, they're known for being really quite picky and being quite savvy about how they interview a business and make their decision whether they're going to invest their time and, and make their next career step with an organisation. So actually you need to be on your game as well. You may be expecting somebody to sell themselves to you, but actually a big part of interviewing is you selling your business to them. So my challenge for you today is to think about who else do I need involved in my business, whether it's somebody that you're going to subcontract to or you're going to employ, and to start to think about what is it that's missing that you can't or don't want to do for yourself and how are you going to define that and build it into your interview process.